It was morning time in Wobbly Land, and Molly was playing a singing game outside her house. She was collecting songs in a jar. Just then Peacock walked past. Molly asked Peacock if he would like to collect songs with her. But Peacock didn't look like he wanted to join in. He didn't much like singing. While Molly was filling her jar up with more songs, the other neighbours came out of their houses. Dad and Gar told Molly that they were all on their way to play a jumping game in the park. Do more. <laughs> I shall just have to sing by myself, thought Molly. And she went on her way to collect more songs. Molly went to the pond. She liked sitting beside the pond. Molly thought of some new songs to collect. It was lots of fun. Molly was very happy. Then Molly thought she could hear something. It was singing. But she was sure it wasn't her singing, because she'd stopped. Then the other singing stopped too. So Molly started again. And the other voice started again too. Molly sang along with the voice and looked around to see where it was coming from. Where was the other voice coming from, she wondered. My jar is singing, thought Molly. I've collected all my songs in my jar, and now my jar can sing too. <laughs> Molly didn't see George the fish, so she didn't see that it was really his voice. She was so delighted that she'd found another voice to sing with, and she went on her way to the park to show her singing jar to her friends. Wobbly Red Man, the neighbours and all the fairies were very glad to see Molly when she arrived in the park. Yeah. Molly told them that she'd found a voice to sing with. It was inside her jar. And she tried to show everyone. but nothing happened. Molly didn't understand where the other voice had got to. She was sad to think that she might have lost it. Shall we help you find the voice? What is it like? Asked Wobbly Red Man. Molly showed everyone what the other voice was like. <laughs> and when everyone knew what it sounded like, they were all able to help her listen for it. Molly led the way, and all the other neighbours, Wobbly Red Man and the fairies followed, listening carefully about them, in case they might find the voice. When Molly was all the way back at the pond, and still hadn't found the voice anywhere, she started to get sad again. When... The voice came back! Molly saw that it had been George all along. Nobody knew that George had such a wonderful voice. Now Molly wasn't sad that her jar wasn't singing. What could possibly be better than a singing jar? A singing fish! sang together until the song was finished. <laughs> Molly was delighted to have found a new singing friend, and George and Molly went back to collecting songs together, while all the others jumped along to the music. 